Kofi Gentura, former world title challenger, big fight week in Vegas, you know, Pacquiao Marquez for uh, what are your thoughts? How are you breaking that fight down? I mean, this fight is uh, it's more like a repeat, they repeat the same about three times already and I don't know how different it is going to be this time. I mean, these guys been, they get at it for three times and they know themselves very well. I think it's going to come up to who is, I mean, really propelled this time and who really won it. Okay. And who do you go with? If you had to choose, I mean... I mean, all this fight has been very close, especially the last one. I thought, you know, Marquez did more and he deserved to win, but, you know, he went the other way. Okay. Floyd Mayweather announced, you know, we were at Floyd Mayweather's gym. You know Floyd very well. He announced he's going to be fighting next year, May, September, tentatively. Uh, what are your thoughts on that news and his next fight? Um, you never know about Floyd, you know. Floyd do what he want to do. Floyd fight when he want to fight. Uh, I mean, from... From the feel I got, I think previously I was thinking maybe it was going to be a Canelo, but now it's, I think it's leaning more towards uh, uh, Guerrero. And maybe we might see Floyd back in maybe uh, May. That's what I, I'm, and I'm thinking. Maybe what, May. Do you see Guerrero's fight with um, Berto? I mean, what do you think? Yes, yes. What do you so, I mean, Guerrero did himself right. I mean, he showed up. Put up a you know great fight. A little you know, Gordo was a little guy who stepped up and beat and dominated a big guy. You know, real went for the seven guy and beat him down, and that was a big statement. Do you think he can be competitive against Floyd? I mean, I, I don't really see a little guy you know being real competitive with Floyd. I mean. The guy that can give Floyd, Floyd problem are the big guys who are skilled. Those big guys who are skilled, they can fight. Those are the guys that can really, you know, give Floyd problem. But when it comes to size, being a small guy mm. with the, uh, you know, that skill, I don't think it. It will be a fight. I mean, you he, he show, you show how, you show his skill. But with Floyd, it's, it's a different ball game. All right, now. Uh, how long have you been in Vegas? You know, we're talking about big fights in Vegas here. How long have you been in Vegas and like, what is fight week like? Do you get excited when there's big fights out here? Oh yeah, I've been I've been in Vegas about 10 years and I've seen a lot of fights. And I mean, big fight bring excitement to Vegas, it bring excitement to boxing, you know, and it make you want, it make you think, it make you want to work hard, you know, to put yourself out there. And that's what we're all looking up to. You had, on one of those big cards, I believe, you knocked out Marco Antonio Rubio, HBO pay-per-view with a left hook. Was that the De La Hoya Hopkins undercard? Yes, yes. MGM that, 2004? Yes. What was that just experience like being a part of that event and scoring such a dramatic knockout? I mean, that fight was huge and there was a lot of buzz you know, on that fight. So me being part of it was, was great, you know, and it, it gave me opportunity to do, you know, show show myself, and showcase my skills to, to the world. And it was a great experience. I mean, this, this kind of fight that we look at. Yeah, you, you, you've you been in the ring with some, you know, solid guys like Arthur Abraham, Farag, Kasim Uma. What, what, what guys have been the toughest for you and what, you know, what have you learned from those fights? I mean, as far as experience-wise, you know, we learn from each fight. We, I've been in there with some guys that are supposed to be stronger punchers. I've been guy of slick fighters. Kasim Uma was uh, one of the fights that, you know, I really was tough for me because my, I, I won't say my condition, but my, at the, the night of the fight, I mean, I wasn't, right and that was the fight that and i felt like ah oh, i'm not i'm not in the fight you know yeah. i wasn't performing i couldn't do what i was supposed to do that one of that's one of the toughest fight that okay. i went through and other than that i fought abraham i mean they were talking about he's a puncher but if you see my fight with him throughout the fight he was just running holding running and holding and uh i fought piro Pirog is a good fighter. He's very technical, very slick. But 
at the same time, you know, when I get into that fight, it was like my my preparation wasn't great. No, di no disrespect, no discredit. My preparation wasn't great, and uh, I couldn't, I didn't really perform, you know, the way I wanted to. Okay. And also, you're looking at a return. What's the latest with you? What keeps you motivated to give it another run? I mean, uh, after a period fight, you know, I look at how I perform, and I was like, nah, if I'm gonna be at this level, then I'd rather, you know, stop. So I took, I, I stopped boxing for, it's been about three years. You know, but looking back, it wasn't, the performance that I would say I was at my best and I couldn't perform, that wasn't the case. My preparation wasn't right, I wasn't training right. I mean, it was more like, you know, we went there to get money and I didn't want to live like that. I didn't want to go through that, like, I'm just fighting just to survive. Because of that, that's why I took off. So uh, now, I'm back in, you know, with a full concentration, full, you know, full determination. I know, I know what I can do, and I know, you know, my abilities, and I think I can still compete at the highest level. That's why I'm, I'm, I'm coming back. All right, man. We'll be looking out for you, Kofi. Best of luck.